Hi there. In today's tutorial, we are going to go over how to add a product into a Virtumart website. Virtumart is an e-commerce um, component that fits into the Joomla CMS system. And basically, this is a sample website that we've created for a client. And what we're going to go over is um, how to add a product into the website how to create an image, how to set the pricing, how to set descriptions, etc. into the site through the backend, through the Joomla backend and see how simple it is to do so. And um, hopefully this will guide you through adding products um, on your own. So let's get started. Um, first I'm going to log in through the backend. So I get my username and password first which is admin I'm the administrator and password and click login and once I've logged into the site I navigate to components Virtumart and once I'm here I basically go to the products tab which you can see here and I want to add a new product so I click add product which is there okay so here we see the add product page to add a new product and the first thing we do is enter an SKU and SKU is like a product number so you, it can be any number or any sequence this might relate to your stock number or your product number um, which is on the box of your product etc we give the a product name so let's call this whey protein isolate if there's a URL an external URL that you wanted to put on there that links to a suppliers website that also can be inputted in there um, now I select the category of where this product is, product is going to fall under as you can see in the front end, we have a few categories here. One is whey protein, post-workout formula, and pre-workout formula. So for our product here, where I'm selecting whey protein as a, as a category for this product. And then I set up the product price. Let's say this product costs $120. And I set up the tax amount over here for the product and the discount if you want wanted to apply a discount I'm going to leave that for now and um, let's create a short description for the product and a more detailed description out here mostly have valuable information about the product that would help sell it um, so that's all for that page there an important um, field to enter is the SKU without the SKU um, the product cannot be successfully updated so it's important you put an SKU item in there um, that's valuable for the Virtumart system next I go on to the display options um, there's a range of settings that uh, we don't need to worry about in this case so let's move on we go to the product status so over here we can keep track of the product like give information such as um, how many products you have I have let's say 10 products I want a minimum purchase of one product and a maximum purchase of 10 products uh, this is entirely up to you to set based on your stock you can set the availability of the product so from which day it's going to be available um, and uh, that's easily done over here I'm just setting it up to be the current date um, and I'm going to basically um, say that uh, leave this as is because the product is instantly available to the public um, a few important things here the on special tab if that is clicked if you click that tab basically it it's marking this um, product as being on special and the Virtumart system uses a few particular components if I swap back to the front page of um, our website 
you'll see that here is popular products. So if I select that on special tab here, automatically that product gets added to a popular products category, which is listed on the front page of this website. Um, so that's that feature there. So if I click on special, it adds it to that front um, category of uh, most popular products. Um, attributes is another important um, element on this page. I can set up attributes for this product, which can be product weight or product size, let's just say. Um, and the size can be 10 kgs. These are different variations of the product. So you might have, say, a product that's, um, uh, that's 5 kgs, 10 kgs, and 20 kgs. The base product would be about 5 kgs, say, and then we can have 10 kg increments per product. So it would be 5 kgs for your base product, 15 kgs for the second uh, weight of that product, and um, uh, 25 kgs for the next weight up. Um, so over here we put product size, which is 10 kgs, and we need to put plus fifty dollars so that's a dollar amount right there so what it's just it's saying is that you can select different variations of this product and virtue Mart will automatically add fifty dollars to the base price which we set up in the product information tab as a hundred and twenty dollars and um, it will automatically do that calculation if the user selects a different version of the product now this can pertain to anything in the Virtue Mart system. So if you're selling, for example, um, um, a gold chain on the website, um, they can have different. The gold chain can have different links to it, and you can specify uh, the different different links in the attribute section over here. So I'm going to set up, and um, I'm going to set up new properties which are going to be 20 kgs, 30 kgs, and just add in different prices here. So as you can see, um, you, need to, you need to put that plus in there. That's when Virtue Mart takes this amount and adds it to the base amount that we've put in the product information section. So now that's done and you can select you can basically set up a number of different attributes so product size could be one of them um, uh, blend of the product could be another another of them but let's not get um, go into too much detail here I think you get the basic idea of what this is doing um, an important point to note is that when you enter attribute lists um, what will happen is that um, Virtue Mart will, will not add an add to cart function over here. So as you can see, even in, um, in the product, in the shopping cart, when I go and look for this product, you will see that um, there is no add to cart like the other products do have. There's an add to cart button, whereas there's a no add to cart button here. This is purely because um, you need to select the product and select a particular version of the product or Virtue Mart won't let you add uh, this product. So that's an important point to note when um, you're setting up an attribute list over here. So let's move on to the next tab, which is product dimensions and weight. This is just as how it says. You give the length 10 centimeters by 15 centimeters in width and by 20 centimeters in height. And I'm going to say these are in centimeters. And the weight of the product, which is going to be 20 uh, pounds. Let's put that pounds. So that's the base product weight. Um, and we don't need to add that in here. Um, so that's fairly self-explanatory. And let's move on to product image. So over here in product images is what we're going to select. 
the images to be in the front page. Um, so this image right here. Um, we're going to select a larger image, which is that. Which is going to be that. And the thumbnails are automatically created by Virtual Mart itself. So I'm going to browse to a particular product and I'm going to click on you've noticed here that um, I can automatically create a thumbnail or I can um, upload, upload a different thumbnail altogether but over here I'm going to create, select auto create thumbnail it makes life a lot more easier and let's so that's been selected let's move on to the next tab which is related products now if I wanted to add a related product um, to this product I can do so so you might see down here um, this product doesn't have anything related to it but normally when you select the product let me try to select one yep uh, so uh, basically these are the related products that I've selected when I when setting up this item and this will help cross sell items within your website uh, because clients might always be interested in related products that are on your website so that's what this uh, tab does it creates um, related links within um, within your product list within your product listing so let's go ahead and look for a related product I'm going to say where and uh, virtual Mart automatically looks for the product these are all the way products in there I'm going to select that and that Cool. so I have two products and now that I've filled all the tabs in I review the data one last time make sure the pricing is right and the tax information is right and then click save yep so and there's the confirmation message that I've got there the product has been added there's a thumbnail that's been created and let's go back to the front end and see if my whey protein isolate has been added to the shop which it's right there and as presumed there's no add to cart function here so I click on product details and there you have it these are two attributes that I've uh, mistakenly added there so that can be removed from the back end note that you have only a certain amount of space to play with with your um, with your attributes so maybe I need to go go back to the back end let's go back to whey protein isolate and clean that up in the display options I'm just going to call this size and I'm going to delete this attribute and delete this attribute because they're completely blank and apply that let's go back to the front end and refresh the page so that looks a lot better so it's size quantity select different size and add that to cart and continue it's always good to review the information that you're putting on your website and double check um, you can see that I have two tabs set up here I keep flipping backward and forward just to check my information and um, it all looks like it's working there um, and if I go to the product cart you'll see that products been added <coughs> and you can see the different price variations according to the attributes so I think that's all it takes to add a product to a Joomla website and I hope you found that tutorial helpful. Um, please refer back to our resource center for more tutorials on the Virtue Mart system. This is Joseph from thirddesign.com and thank you for joining me. Goodbye.